floods. That's actually the outro section. And we're going to do the guitar solo as well. Uh, CBT guitar lesson for uh, you know who, Alan. Alan B, I think you said this was your favorite solo. And uh, man, dude, this is smoking. And that outro, very, very cool. So, the tuning is triple flat. Another, another word for that I usually call would be C-sharp standard. So it's like, you know, you can hit your chords. And make, like if you were in standard tuning, but your top string, string six, is tuned to um, a C-sharp note. Okay? So, I'm sure you're familiar with that tuning. So we're going to come in here on... Uh, la, 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 la. Hold on here. Page two, three minutes, 50 seconds in, and um, fret 12. Um, well, it's just a slide in. It's a descending slide that he starts it with. Um, we're going to go. Very cool. Super melodic, actually. Experiment with fingering. There's going to be one twos and fours, or one threes and fours, um, but you'll you'll adapt to one over the other. So we're going to go two A slide to four with the index for sure on that. Because there's some stretches, keep the thumb kind of low. Slide to fret four, and then we're going to go six D with the middle, and then I'm I'm using the middle, and then pinky eight G. So you're skipping whole steps and dropping a string each time. And then back to the 6D, palm mute, so we have, then we're going to hit the 8 on the G, slide to 9, and then 8G pinch vibrato, and then this here, reminds me of Randy Rose a little bit, you'll go 6G, keep the thumb low, you know, mid-neck mid or below mid-neck, and it's some technique here of hammers and pulls. We're going to pick 6G, hammer 8. Pull six, pull four, and then six G pinch vibrato. Ah. Okay, then it's a series of uh, kind of chord pieces like that. The next one is three on the low E string, slide to five. You're going to notice the spacings are the same. Once you get to 5, go 7A, 9D, back to 7A. And then 9D, slide to 13. 13, slide to 14, vibrato. It'll be... So... Once you get there, vibrato it. And then he does a really quick uh, trill. You're going to go 13D, hammer 14, and just about six times like that type of vibe um, and then 11D slide so um, two on string six the low E same spacings go two four six four E A D A okay so and then six D slide to seven and then six pinch vibrato Um, and then to finish off that one, 4D, hammer 6, pull 4, pull 2, and then pinch 4D, vibrato. So, let's see how that one ends. Oh yeah. And then, the next one. It's right below it, 2A. So we're going to work our way down. 2, 4, 6, 4. A, D, G, D. Oops. Whole step bend on the 6G. And then the 6G. From there, go 4G, hammer 6, pull 4, pull 2. So those are consistent. And then 4th fret, <coughs> 3 times. Pinch, bend, vibrato, the last one. All 
All right, and then moving on. 2A, slide to 4. It's still the same type of spacings. Go 4, 6, 8, 6. And now he's going to work with some slides, so. We'll go 8G, slide to 9, 9 slide to 11. So it's. Right? 13 on the G, you're going to pinch, bend it a half step that's one fret. Hold, release. And then fifth fret on the E. And now he's adding some palm mute. And go five, seven, nine, seven, E, A, D, A. Palm mute just the sevens. And then nine D slide to 13, 13 slide to 14. Once you get there, you're gonna go 13 on the D. <clears throat> you're gonna do a pinch, hold, half step bend, release. And then pre-bend, pinch, half step, release, slide to 11. That's a lot of stuff. It's hard to pinch uh, on this, as, as dynamic as this tone is. Um, especially way up the neck here. But remember, half step, so if you're doing a, a pre-bend on 13, it should sound like fret 14 when you start. That's your note. All right? And then four minutes, 15 seconds in, second fret on the low E string, same concept, two, four, six, four, we're palm muting the A string on the fourth fret, so. And then six D slide to seven. Six on the D, pinch, vibrato. Four D, hammer six, pull four, pull two. And then pinch, four D, vibrato. From there, we're about ready to exit this uh, concept. On the A string, we're going to go 2, 4, 6, 4, A, D, G, D. And you're going to palm mute everything except the 6 on the G. And as a matter of fact, that 6G is pinch harmonic, no vibrato though, so it's, it's cool. Um, 6G, pinch, bend. And then 6G pinch, so you have, and if those drive you crazy, Alan, you can take the pinch harmonics off. There's a lot of them in there though. Four, hammer six, pull four and two on the G. Let's see, we have, and then 4G three times, pinch, bend, vibrato the last one. All right, then the solo kicks into gear at four minutes, 23 seconds in. 11 G 12 B and you can go third and fourth finger or you can go middle and third kind of just mess around with it but you're gonna hit both the strings bend the G you're gonna go bend release and then a slow bend that concept then upstroke 12 B downstroke 11 G bend and you're gonna do that six times And then 9B, you're going to go 9, 12, pull 9, and then 12B bend. And then 9 high E, follow the picking in your tabs for sure uh, to pick up the speed in this. You go 9E, 12B, pull to 9, 12B bend vibrato. So you have and then 911 on the high E and then do the 11 again half step bend hold release and then go 911 pull 9 I'd go middle on that 11 
We're gonna use a shift concept. Third finger, go B E B on the twelfth fret, down up down. So you have back to nine E. Twelve pull nine on the B. Twelve G. Love that. That's the uh, the note. It's in the sixth note minor pentatonic. So. 12B, so we have 11G half step bend, 12G, pull to 11 and 9, so it's then go 11, 11, pull 9 on the G to 11D. And then uh, shift again with that third finger, like a kind of like you're doing a bar, you know. Um, you'll go 11 D G D, and then 10 G, 10 G half step bend, and then 11 9 D to 11 A. Make sure that that half step is standing out clear in there. All right, so. Second line down, page three. Then we'll go 11 on the G and D. And then 9 and 11 G, D. So it's pulling off to 9 D. Eleven D and G. Eleven nine D and G. So if you went from the pull-off right before that, Alan, you got... And then 11 pull 9 on the D to 11A. So we have 11 on the G and D. And then go 9, 11, 11, 11. So you the third spacing down on page three is this. Then go 11A, and then 9D slide to seven. Yeah, okay, I remember this part. So we have 9A, seven on the D twice, slide to six. So if you connected it, it's bend release and then bend release bend release 7a real swoopy almost like whole step um, I think of it as a swoopy vibrato but like four times bend release Diamond had that real heavy vibrato like Zach Wild four minutes 39 seconds in this is really cool 14 high E pre bend release pull off to 12 so that's the note we want. You're gonna go. And then 14 bend vibrato. And then release pull off to 12. Then hammer 14 pull 12. So. And then here's where it takes off. We're gonna tap 17 on the high E. Pull it off. You're actually gonna go. Let's see. So tap, bend, and have this third finger on four, fret 14 on the high E. And then pull off, or release, pull off to 12. So it's. Use your palm, like this area, to keep the other strings clear. But that's a really cool technique. So it's. Four times. Mm -hmm. 
obviously using my middle finger for the tap. 19th fret on the high E, we're going to uh, bend the whole step, vibrato. Fret 21, <clears throat> we're going to bend a whole step, but check this out. We're going to bend it, and then go 22 with the pinky as it's bent, and then 21 as it's bent. So you end up with this concept, because he does it three times as it's bent. So, then release it. It's another cool technique, man. Dime had a bag of tricks for sure. So we have. From there, you're gonna go four minutes, 47 seconds in, 16 on the B. And I would use middle finger. You're gonna bend it a half step. And then go 17 high E. And then 16 B half step bend. Do that four times. So it's. Then 16 half step bend. Again with the bend release pull off to 14. So it's. And then a shift again with the finger. I'm using middle. I think dime does too. Um, GBG. Down up down. So to 14B. And then 16G, slide to 14, and then do a whole step bend. So let's do that whole run.